In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate your professional email, the one that goes to your uh, domain name, uh, with your System.io and GoDaddy through DNS settings. The first thing you're going to do is log into your System.io and head over to um, either your image if you've uploaded it or the little person icon and hit settings. Uh, next, you're going to go to mailing settings. Now, I'm going to explain this, but it's already set up for me, so hopefully this will make sense for you. Uh, if you have questions, please uh, leave them below or in the group. I will do a new training on this as soon as I can. So the first thing you're going to do is go to um, your domains listed here and click here to authenticate your domain, and you're going to enter your domain.com. Now, the difference here from when we were setting up our custom domain is we do not need www dot before the domain. In fact, it will throw an error if you put it on before your domain name in this case. Now, I am not going to save this because it's going to tell me it's not real. But this is what you're going to do, and then you're going to hit save. The next thing you are going to do is you are going to come up to sender email addresses. <coughs> Excuse me. And you are going to click on this link here to confirm your sender email. And you're going to put in whatever it is. Uh, and then you're going to hit save. Uh, you need to make sure that the email is already set up in GoDaddy, that you've already purchased it and given it you know, time to set up after purchasing and setting it up. So just be aware of that. Um, and uh, then you'll hit save. And this also will take 24 to 48 hours to get confirmed. I have never had an issue with an email not getting confirmed. Uh, so we aren't going to worry too much about that. But um, once that happens, once you put that in, you are then going to go back down to domain names. And next to the um, domain that you want, you're going to hit the little eyeball. And the DNS settings that you need to put in are going to show up. So we're going to go to GoDaddy, and I'm going to go to Products. And I'm going to scroll down to the website that I am using to show you how these are set up. Okay, so... In this case, we are going to add new records, and you're always going to choose CNAME for this. And you're going to go back and forth between um, the SI, like these CNAMEs here that are listed, and um, back over here in order to um, get everything put in. Now, as you can see, there is no dot authentically abby.com. So you are going to take. Um, everything before the dot authentically abby.com and you're going to put that there on the left hand side uh, under name and then uh, everything under value you are going to put under value and then you're going to save i'm not going to save it for this one because they're already in and it won't let me next one you're going to do is you're going to add more records c name and then everything before dot authentically abby Dot com will go here and then you go put that under name and then key1.systemio.com down there since this is already set up again it is not going to let me save them but i will show you you see the si2634 33848 there and that's how that's set up you can see it if i go to edit see no.authenticallyabby.com and uh, and then you go to systemio.domainkey, and you see that that is also set up with everything before auth .authenticallyabby.com. So you put those three in, and you save them, and then you wait for everything to get confirmed and connected. And then you'll be able to connect your email to your um, to your uh, email campaigns by changing your sender email address here um, and your sender name and all of that good stuff.
So that is how you set up your DNS settings for your professional email.